No. Today we are going to enjoy some nice problems from the sixth Misha contest. Oh, sorry. It seems like this problem is only in Russian. Okay, Baitazar examines molecules DNA in his lab. DNA is a series of symbols, a sequence in which each symbol is taken from this set. For example, these strings are different DNA chains. Baitazar can make this uh, the aforementioned no aforementioned is <laughs> mentioned below mutations in any place he can replace a with tc c with ag g with ct and t with j where are what <laughs> no samples okay so we want to check for n DNA chains if it's possible to make the second one from the first one. Okay, it's kind of nice problem. Let's start with it, actually. At least we can spend several minutes and if we don't like it, then we pass to the next problem. So, AGTC, adenine, guanine, timine, it's a tisin. Yeah. So, A to TC, G to CT, C to AG, and T to G. Okay. Hmm. So the first thing that can be noticed is that actually all four letters are interchangeable. So we can So there is a cycle A, T, G, C, and if we rename everything along this cycle, then the problem goes into itself. It doesn't change. Maybe we can also make some uh, equations. So basically we have the equation that A equals BD, C equals DB, B equals uh, CA, and D equals D equals AC. Mm -hmm. So, we can clearly say that it is BAC, and also we can say that it is equal to A. No, not A, but C, A, C, A, D. So it seems like it is C, A, A, C. So A is C, A squared, C. Huh. Well, okay, let's try to eliminate some letters. That's what I want to do. 
So let's just remove all letters D from the equation. So we remove. We know that D equals AC. So let's remove letter D. So instead of this one, we have uh, ACB. And instead of this one, we have BAC. Okay. Now I think we can also remove letter B as well. And now we have that A equals CAAC and C equals ACCA. Okay. Okay, but what, what we really want to do in such problems is to make some canonic representation of a string. A canonical representation. So, for example, we can say that canonical representation is the shortest possible way to represent this string. Yeah, but... But, but, but... For s sometimes it's hard. For example, Assume that we have ACC, AAC, then we can replace it with CAC, but we can as well make it, make it what? ACA. So CAC equals ACA. don't know what to say actually well it's nice but not really Also, we can say here that this A is actually C-A-A-C, C-C-A. Now we can remove this C. So we now have simply A-A-C-C-C-A, A-A-C-C-C-A is zero. And this means that simply A cube, C cube is zero. We would, really, we would really like to find some group in which... So, so this is like a, a free group. I don't know if it's called free group in, in English. And we have these two equations. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do? So assume that we have some long string and we want to like make it canonic. So first of all, of course, if we have CAAC somewhere, we can remove it. Yeah, also, for example, if we have CAC, we can replace it with ACA. So we have no CAC and CAA. Uh, C.
Yeah. So assume that I don't like when I see a string CA. Can I get rid of it? Actually not really because CA is something like A C C A A. So instead of getting rid of it, I now have like two A's after the C's and I don't like it. So can I remove it well it's easy to actually generate tests and see okay let's actually skip this problem till now for, for now we will look at it later problem b balls and pockets we have a strip with an infinite number of cells Starting with zero, cell I contains a ball I. There are n pockets. Each cell contains at most one pocket. And we have a process of filtering. So all pockets and all cells open simultaneously and all balls in these pockets disappear. After that the pockets close. And then for each cell it moves to the free cell with the lowest number. Makes sense. You have to answer M questions. The ith of these is what is the number of balls located at the cell xi after ki repetitions of the filtering operations what ah okay I think the key thing is to undo operations instead of doing them. So assume that we have several pockets. And we have some ball somewhere. So where does this ball go? Okay, it needs to go one cell to the right oh okay so we have some cell first of all for each pocket to the left of it we need to move it that many cells to the right but now if some of these cells also contain a pocket, then we also have to move it to the right.
Hmm. Okay, so so actually we can say that we have several segments and in each segment it is like adding a constant. Here is some constant C1, here it's it's some constant C2, etc. So we have several segments and several constants on these segments. So we need two things. We need to we need to make we need to make a composition of two functions first of all. Yeah. And secondly, And secondly, we need to, like, like in binary jumps, we need to apply some function to some ball. However, the number of the segments maybe grows rapidly. We don't know. We really don't know. Can it be that it grows rapidly? So can it be that there are like... For 10 to the 9th, there are 10 to the 9 segments. I don't know, maybe it can. For example, let's look at some easy example. Yeah, example is just 10 to the 5th power uh, pockets. Yeah, then... What happens after 10 to the 9 operations? Yeah, so here Ah, no, it cannot be Or can it? Hmm Can it be or not? Incredible. I, I already don't know. I know. So, what happens with the ball? It is based on so assume that there are there were for example ten operations. Then we're interested how many pockets were to the left of this ball before the first operation, before the second operation, before the third one, the fourth one, etc. And each time, so if these two sequence are di sequences are different, it might be different. I think it's possible that it might be uh, like big if we have one, two, four, eight, sixteen, etc. So if we have po pockets in these positions, then something strange happens, or not? Maybe not. Maybe not. It's not really strange. Okay, I believe it's something that I cannot determine until I try to write this. Okay. Quiz contest. Thank you very much. Actually, it isn't exactly working. Ah, quiz contest is the name of a problem, not the, the name of a contest. Okay. Quiz contest. Time limit 8 seconds, but here we have 15 seconds.
Okay. So first of all, we have the number of competitors and the number of remaining questions. Then we have AIs, meaning that among the remaining questions, competitor I can so correctly solve AI. And then we have BIs, meaning that to win the competitor I has to answer BI more questions. And 15 seconds on for this problem. I believe you could as well Yokohama or Yokogama. You could as well write it in here. No need to write it in PDF. Okay, I didn't really like this problem, so let's look at D. So out of all possible permutations of the set of particles we are using in experiment, we would like to know the probability of a uniformly randomly picked permutation to have at least one pair of particles of the same element adjacent to each other. So we have a string, we need to find the probability that it's random permutation that it's random permutation is that does not have two equal letters neighboring. lower case let's represent the element of a particle so we have 26 types of objects actually we can simply calculate them so we have 26 numbers 26 types of something and we create a permutation and want to find the probability that that this permutation does not have two equal letters near to each other.
Well, how do I see this? I see this as a dynamic programming problem. So we have 26 types of letters. Let's consider them one by one. And at some moment we have, for example, only letters A's and B's. We have only letters A and B. So what do we want? Actually, what do we want? Actually, now it doesn't matter which of these letters are A's and which of them are B's. We are only interested in pairs of equal letters. So we are interested in positions where there are two equal letters. For example, here we have five positions. Such. Now we are putting letter D. Yeah? So we equi probably put this somewhere in these gaps. So if we accidentally put a D in some gap which is already bad, it becomes good. But if we suddenly put two letters D in the same gap, it becomes bad. Yeah, so... Nice, actually. I, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So, let, let's formalize. So, we have a string. We have, like, uh, we have, like, A characters. And we are adding B new characters. So, we will have a string of length A plus B. So, we're interested in the number of permutations dp a b with exactly x bad gaps gaps okay so how could it happen it could happen if we have a permutation with exactly y bad gaps no it's like sum of it's like sum hmm so we want exactly x bad gaps yeah Okay. No, 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 we don't have... Yeah, we have... Uh, for example, let's assume that we had a string with exactly what... I don't like letters X and Y. So let, let's... Try not to use them. For example, A. And letters with big will be capital A and B. So we have we have a string with exactly A. Oh, there is also length. Oh. Okay, let's let's make some notation because I don't like it. I really don't like it. So okay, we have a, a string of length n. Okay, and we are adding m equal symbols b's. It can contain any symbols like a's, c's, d's, again a's, but there are exactly a bad places. And this is called dpa. And we want to calculate dq b which is how many ways are there to make a string of length n plus m where there are exactly uh, b bad positions. 
So let's sum over all a's from 0 to n plus 1. So we want to calculate how many ways are there to make from a bad positions b bad positions. So dpa times how many ways are there to make from a bad positions b bad positions. So let's calculate. So we have a bad positions. We have a bad positions. We need to choose several bad positions. So we need to choose. Okay, let's assume that we chose C bad positions from A and D bad positions from uh, everything else. So from A, we chose C bad positions. From everything else, which is N plus, sorry, you can see what I'm writing. Actually, I can make it full screen. From n plus 1 minus a, we need to choose d positions. After that, what do we have? Ah, and also, so what is the formula? What is the formula on the bad positions? So first of all, among this a, so what happened with a? So, first of all, we have A minus C now, because C bad positions were fixed. But also we have a problem. We have a problem because among... So, we have C plus D positions, but we put their M letters. So, if we fill C plus D positions with M letters, there will be C plus D minus M in your bad things. So we get plus C plus D minus M. So this C and minus C cancel out beautifully. And we now have A plus D minus M. So this should be equal to B. And actually this means that we know something. Yeah, we know M for sure. We know A for sure. We know B for sure. So we actually know D. So D is known exactly well. D is simply B plus M minus A. So we can, we don't need to iterate over all possible Ds. We know that it is B plus M minus A. Fine. What then? So we chose the positions and now we need to put these M letters into these positions. So now we have a question. We have C plus B plus M minus A empty positions. And we need to put M like grains of rice there. And in each position we need to put at least one gr grain of rice. How many ways are there? So to do that, it is a simple known algorithm uh, formula. So if we have that many places and that many grains of rice. Here, let's add hmm. Okay, let's add one extra grain of rice, I believe. And let's say that we need to choose from this M plus one. Hmm. Ah, I, I see, I see. So let's choose this many grains of rice. And they mean that this starts a new group. So this starts a group one. This starts a group 2, this starts a group 3, group 4, etc. Group C plus B plus M minus A. So each one chosen grain of rice starts a new group. And they all will be non 
and they will be even positive. The problem is with these green surprise, which are not put anywhere. To fix that, we may say that we always need to choose the, f the very first grain of rice. It should be chosen. And this means that actually we cannot choose it twice, so we choose from these grains of rice, these many uh, chosen grains. So the formula becomes, so dp prime of e equals sum from a equals 0 to n plus 1 and from c equals like from 0 to a dpa times choose a c times choose n plus 1 minus a b plus m minus a times m minus 1 choose well what if m is 0 actually I, I don't like it what if m is 0 Hmm. If m is zero, then I simply need to have c equals b, b equals a. Also, I need to have c equals zero, and I simply get that this is choose minus one, choose minus one. So this is a special case. So I need to say that choose of minus one and minus one is zero okay this is tremendously bad i i don't like it i don't like it so definitely it's some sort of strange uh strange convolution or at least it should be let's try to simplify it for example here we see here we here we have m minus one choose so let's subtract this thing from this thing and we have like a minus b minus c is it nice that we have a minus b minus c or no i don't like it why do we have a minus b minus c so uh, a should be greater than b plus c why i understand why why a should be b greater than b greater than c but why what is b actually ah b is what no no i don't like it why is a greater than b plus c it's not normal It's not okay. So let's look at it again. So we have we have n plus one pockets. Ah, I see. Actually, it is not quite correct because. Hmm. 
Okay, let's let's talk again about it. So we have n plus one empty places. Yeah, and among them there are a empty places. Mm, which are like bad. And also there are n plus one minus a places which are good. Okay, to simplify it, let's try to add one green. Ah, we cannot add one green of rice. I see, we cannot add one green of rice. No, we can't. <clears throat> so we add some grain of grains of rice. So let's assume that we chose B grains, B places here. Then we chose how many places here. So again, let's assume that we chose C. No, not C here and D here. So again, this means that we have A initially bad places. We have fixed C of them, but then we put M letters where only C minus D fit. So this is ah because yeah because it should be plus M and minus C minus D. Yeah. Yes. So if I move some grain from here to here, it, it just fixes one place. But if I add one more here, it doesn't change anything. But if I find, okay. I just can't understand why there is minus C two times. Yeah, because it feels strange. Okay, whatever. A plus M minus 2C minus D. And this is B. So we know that D equals A plus M minus 2C minus B. Okay, so how many ways? So I need to sum from A equals 0 to from A equals 0 to what? To n plus 1. 
So I choose how many there were before. Bad places. Then among these A bad places, I need to choose C. So it's A choose C. Then among these bad places, I need to choose D. So it is N plus 1 minus A. Choose A plus M minus 2C minus B. Incredible. Not only that, but now I have C plus D. Okay, C plus D equals A plus M minus B minus C. So I have that many empty places and I need to put their M things. So again, the question, how many ways are there to make A as a sum of B positive Atoms. So the same question as how many ways of representing A minus B as B positive addons or non negative addons this time. And in the case of non negative addons, it is known as balls and borders. And it's like a minus one, b minus one. Okay, okay. So times choose from m minus one, a plus m minus two, c minus b minus one. So again, again, not clear why why this is positive. Okay, not only that, but in the end I need to multiply by so by m factorial, I think. Yeah, because I need to choose in which order I put all this m, uh, all these letters. Although it seems like this is not needed actually. Because I always multiply by m factorial. So yeah, I think it's not needed. It feels strange a bit, but looks like yeah, that's it. Looks like that's it. Also, I dislike that there are two times this in the denominator. Why is that? A plus m. No, 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 because it shouldn't be B here. It should be C here. So again, again, so why? So we see clearly that B plus C is at least A. Why is that? Why is that? I don't get it. Can somebody explain me why is that? So. So. Clearly, it's, it's saying that, so we have A points here, we have N plus 1 minus A points here, we chose C here, we chose D here, and actually D is equal to A plus M minus 2C minus B. But now you're saying me that B plus C is at least A. Now I really don't understand. Ah, yeah, yeah, I don't understand. Why B plus C is at least A? Okay, so B is at least A minus C. So A minus C is the number of not chosen things here. Ah, I see. It's easy to see now, yeah, because B is definitely at least the number of not chosen uh, gaps here. Okay, makes total sense now. 
Now let's replace it, of course, with more appropriate sum. So DPA times HOC times N plus 1 minus A choose A plus M minus 2C minus B times choose M minus 1 and B plus C minus A. And sum is also here over all possible C's from 0 to to A. Well, well, this is bad. Okay, I can sum over all possible A's, but then I sum over all possible C's. Ah, I see what I need to do. Actually, since C is from, let me rewrite it, yeah, so I see what's nice here. So we have sum A from 0 to N plus 1, and then sum from 0 to A. Actually, let's introduce E equals A minus C. So let's rewrite it. So we have sum from 0 to n plus 1, and then sum from e, for e from 0 to a. So we still have dpa. But now this can be easily rewritten as ae. What next? So now let's rewrite it as n plus 1 minus a, choose upper minus, minus lower. So n plus 1 minus 2a minus m plus 2c plus b. Now you can clearly see that we have an e here. So this is just minus e. So here we have n plus 1 minus a and n plus 1 minus 2e plus m minus b. Finally, times choose m, m minus 1 over b minus e. So now a and e are quite independent. Yeah, a and e are quite independent. Well, one can argue that... Argue that... Well, there is also this strange thing that... Okay, we can never consider m equals 0 because it's just strange. Let's assume that m is at least 1 always. Okay. Still, it's a bit strange. Yeah, so we have... We have here summa summation over A's, and A is always in numerator. But also we have a summation over E's, and these E's are always in denominator. But... But still quite... Strange. Can we do something about it?
Okay, maybe we need to consider exponential power series of this thing. So we need to do it. So we need to consider exponential power series. No, I don't like it. We will not. Or will we? Maybe we will because... I don't know. Let's rewrite it in terms of factorials. In terms of factorials, we have like dp a times a factorial e factorial a minus c factorial n plus 1 minus a factorial n plus 1 minus 2 e plus m minus b factorial b plus 2e minus a minus m factorial m minus 1 factorial b minus e factorial m minus 1 plus e minus b factorial so actually I would really like it if like A and this and this summation were independent. However, there are like two places where they are not independent. One is here. And one is here. We have unfortunately to deal with it. Because they are not perfectly independent. Okay, let's call dq of a is a factorial times dp a and dq prime of b equals b factorial times dp prime of b. Then if instead of dp we are calculating dq, then dq of b prime equals sum and sum of of what dq prime of a times what no not prime okay this time this dp a is combined with a factorial and instead of that we have here b factorial so we have b factorial times n plus one minus a times m minus one factorial Yeah, and here we have e factorial and b minus e factorial and they can be combined. Okay, this can be combined easily. Okay, what then? What else do we have? So we have... Let's underline what we avoided. So we fully avoided a factorial because we replaced it with b factorial. Also we have this and this. Okay, what about n plus 1 minus a factorial? Okay, still we have this not nice thing. 
we would like to replace it with something. Maybe I did something bad. I didn't need to do it. Yeah. We have two summations. Okay, maybe first of all we need to make a summation over E. And that way we can eliminate everything which is not, need which is not needed. Which is E, this... So the outer summation over E. It can eliminate actually a lot of things. This one, this one, this one can be eliminated. This one is not needed here. Okay, so we have sum over E of some factorials. Let's rewrite them again. So we have M plus one, M minus one factorial over e factorial n plus 1 minus 2 e plus m minus b factorial b minus e factorial m plus 1 minus e minus b factorial whatever and then we have a sum over all a's from e to n factorial, not n factorial, but n plus 1. Yeah, and here we have n plus 1 minus a. a minus e. And b plus 2 e minus a minus m for some reason okay what is that okay with fixed with fixed numbers it's simply a it's simply like sum of a minus x. So for some x, it's a minus x factorial over x minus b factorial times c minus x factorial. And what is that? No, it's like, it's not like this. Yeah, it's like, it's like this, yeah. Well, isn't it strange? Yeah, it is strange. Why do we have it like this? Yeah, we shouldn't. We shouldn't have it like this. Ah, this A factorial disappeared for some reason. So this A factorial shouldn't have disappeared. Yeah, A factorial. So the reason I did it is that E is like in every factorial here. It's in every factorial. But A is not in every factorial. A is not in every factorial. Okay, so we have a sum like this. So... So is there some combinatorial explanation? Yeah, 
Is there some combinatorial explanation? Well, there is something. There is something. For example, this means that we need to... Okay, if you only look at this summation, it looks like we are trying to choose... What we are trying to do. Ah, also there is A here. So, it looks like we have a set of size B plus E minus M. And we're trying to cut it into two pieces. One is of size A minus E, and the second one is of size B plus 2E minus A minus M. And if it were only this, then it the answer would be... 2 to this power. However, it's not only this, because before, after that... We also have E elements here, and we need to... create an order on these elements. And we have... N plus 1 plus M minus B minus two E elements here. No. Yeah. We have this many elements here and we need to make an order on these ones. Not not good. Not good. Not good. Can I make it simpler? Well, actually we can. Actually we can. Yeah, we can because both these factorials, both these factorials, we can hide them into the definition of dq. Yeah, it's easy to hide it into the definition of dq. We can hide them both. Yeah, we can hide them both. It's easier. Yeah, also I forgot that actually we have DQ D, 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 here of A. This is something I forgot. Well, this means that we cannot... We cannot make this summation be, be, without DP. 
We cannot make this summation without... Okay, let's assume that it is hidden here. So this thing is hidden inside of DQ. So DQ uh, A is DP A times A factorial times N plus 1 minus A factorial. Okay, this is hidden here. Okay, if so, then we simply need to make this summation. And can we do it? Can we do it fast? Because we need to make a lot of such summations. Okay, so let's rewrite. What do we need? We need to sum from a equals e to n plus 1 dqa divided by a minus c factorial b plus 2 e minus a minus m factorial okay let's instead sum from zero so it's like c c from zero to n plus one minus uh, c minus minus e and now we have c factorial times So here we need to, instead of E, write 2C, no, 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 minus, minus C minus E. So B plus E minus C minus M. Hmm. What is that? Okay, let's multiply it by b plus e minus m factorial yeah so now it becomes what it becomes 1 over b plus e minus m factorial times what times sum of dq c plus e times choose of b plus e minus m choose c Okay, what is that? Or better, or better B plus E minus C minus M. Okay, if this is a constant, like X, then it is simply so so let, let's make some f formal power series p equals sum x to the power n times choose of constant constant minus n 
No. No, like this. If we do so, then we simply multiply here dq by p and what do we take? We take the, co the coefficient with number b plus 2e minus m. Yeah, I think so. So it's, it's just a coefficient of some uh, po uh, polynomial. However, however, I don't like it. I don't like it because Because this constant C here is actually not a constant. It's different. Uh, it's, it depends on E. And E will be different each time. And we cannot afford so much. Okay, it, it's clear that we need to do something else. Well, again, all problems are hard. Okay, let's solve problem A, I think. So again, we have the following. We have that A equals CAAC and C equals ACCA. We need to find some canonic representation of such strings. Yeah, because I'm not... I don't know which group is defined by these relations. Well, and in general, maybe it's like A equals C a to the power N C and C equals A C to the power N A. General, in general, it's something like this. Okay, I don't let's look at these relations. So again, we know that CAC is AC. This is something we know. So it seems reasonable to explore what is true about CAA, CAAAC. Can we say about it something? We can say that it is a minus one, c minus one, a c. So 
So this is a commutator of A and C. Well, it is worse than than before, I think. It's worse. Is it worse? Okay, maybe we can try to write C A A minus one C minus one. Now it becomes here C A minus one C minus one and now it becomes A minus one A minus two C minus one. And now we can write C A A C A minus one here. It cancels out, it cancels out, and this is simply C A minus one. What? So we found out actually that a minus one c minus one a c equals c a minus one does it make sense first of all let's try and fix it so a minus one c minus one a c a equals c so a c a equals c a c yeah it makes sense this strange relation Yeah, and also since it's symmetric, I believe we can all agree that it is also a minus one c. No, it's can we can we say that actually it's a minus one c? If if yes, this would mean that actually a and c commutate, which is strange. But well, I definitely can do it, yeah, because both of these things are symmetric. And this is symmetric, and this means that it also should be symmetric. Well, well, if A and C commutate, this would lead to something really strange. Yeah, you can see that A and C commutate now, that because A c equals a c a minus one a equals a a minus one c a equals c a so they then accommodate if we have this but we do have this we do have this because Well, le le let's rewrite it uh, the symmetric way. So again, C, A, 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 C. First of all, I try to say that it is C, A, 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 C. Then I multiply it by C minus first, A minus first, A minus first, C minus first. And then I add A. Now, 
this cancels out, this cancels out, and this cancels out. So now I have C A, C minus 1. Ah, this is where I get an error. This is not A minus 1, I think. Yeah, it should be simply A. Yeah? Should it be A? Yeah, I think it should have been A. Unfortunately, it should have been A. Okay, let's fix this uh, chain then. Okay, so, this is A, C minus 1. A, C. And when we, then we added C, A, A, A minus 1, C minus 1, which is fine. What did we do? And why did we do it? Ah, I understand why we did we do it. So we want to get Akka. So we have this. Do we? So again, the simple, simple equation here is that CAA equals AC minus 1. Do we know it? We definitely do. Yes. Now... Actually, can we? So I like it actually. I like it because it is of the simple form that we can commutate A and C. Can we like write that A to some power N is zero? Can we do it? If yes, then it would be marvelous. Yeah, I, I would really like if we know that a to the power n is 0, for some n. At some moment we found out that a cubed c cubed is 0. Is it true? Is it true that a cubed c cubed is 0? Okay, let me write a question here, and I will return to this question later. Okay, so ACCA, here now we have AC minus 1. This is C, this is A minus 1, C minus 1. Then this is cancelling out, and this is cancelling out. So this is simply C minus 1. Yes, so we found out that C A A A C is C minus one once again. And this means that C A A A C square equals C square A A A C equals for example A cube C cube equals C cube A cube and this all equals the neutral element. Okay, this is this is actually very nice. What can we do then? Oh, we can. So I want the following. I want only A's and then only C's. This is what I want. This is what I want. Only A's and then only C's. So let's try to do it. So I assume that I have... some C and then some A. And I don't like it. I really don't like it. I want to move it here. So basically it's very easy to start this thing with A. I just need to write A, C, C, A, A here. 
However, we didn't solve the problem because now we have two A's here and two C's here. So we have a problem, yeah? Not really, because we know that this is zero. And this means that we can actually simplify it. Why can we simplify it? Because we say that a cubed c cubed is, is what? is zero so basically we can say that c a a a c c is neutral element and this means that it is c to the power minus two ah uh, no this is not interesting no that's not what we need this is not what we need. We also know that CAC equals AC. Can we use that? So CA equals this and also it equals so this no it is not what we would like to see okay we can use this green thing and we can say that it is a c minus one a minus one did we need it Or it is worse. Yes, this is a bit worse. But okay, let's also consider this one. Can we simplify it? Yeah, maybe we can simplify that this is A minus 1 C. And we're back to business here. Okay, if I have at least two A's in the end, then I can jump these two A's here. Okay, let's try to simplify it even more. So again, I know that CAA is AC minus 1. Yeah, let's try to simplify CA minus 1, A minus 1. Can we do it? So let's call it x, then we know that c equals xaa, then we can add one more c here. Let me write it like this. So C is X A A. Yeah. So we can say that C, we can say that A C C A is X A A. 
So x equals a c c a minus one. So do I like it? I don't like it because we doubled the number of c's. Well, yes, they did. We did. However, the number of a's to the right of a c decreased. So this is this is actually fine. Okay, I can just say that, yeah, I can simply say that this is ACC, and this is not bad, this is really not bad. This is not bad because I also swapped C and A. The problem is, now I have here C minus 1. So I need to do something with it. C minus one is not the best thing in the, in the world. But actually, it doesn't matter, yeah? So if we have C minus one A, is it true that it is simply a... Simply what? So, okay, we have two things. We have we just know two things. We know that A equals C A A C and C equals A C C A. So C minus one A is AAC and do we like it? We do. It is it is nice. It is nice. And so C minus one A minus two is it's also plausible. Yeah, because we can say that a minus 1 equals c minus 1, a minus 2, c minus 1. So c minus 1, a minus 2 is a minus 1, c. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, what did we achieve? We achieved it actually. So, we can write everything as, as follows. We can have several a's, a to the power plus, mina, plus minus n, and c plus minus n. Then we take letter by letter, one by one, and if it is a, then it is lovely, but if it is c, then we try to move it to the right. So if we have C in positive, if we have A in positive power, then we move it to the right. And if we have A in negative power, okay. So what do we do? Hmm. Actually, can we also say that the number of A's is 
is is is zero one or two i think we can i think we can say that a not the number of a's is zero one and two because if we have at least uh three a's we can multiply it by a to the power minus three and c to the power minus three and vice versa if we have the number of a's less than zero then we can multiply it by a cube c minus q um, c cube and also restore it so we always have zero one or two a's now it's like some cases so in the end so are we interested in the following is it true that all these strings are different all these strings are different and all these strings are different so is it true that always that a is not a power of c i think no is it true that for example if a c to the something is a squared c to the something ah we have one more problem we have one more problem yeah we have one more problem is for example what if we have c a yeah because c a a is a c minus one but unfortunately c a is simply a c minus one a minus one so we didn't make our job easier Okay, let's simplify it somehow. So what do we have? I would like to say that we have only a to some power and c to some power where this power is 0, 1 or 2. But maybe it's not correct because if we have simply c a then it can be replaced with anything easier. Okay, then then let's say that that we have several a's. Then maybe we have c a, but this is questioned, and then we have several c's. Okay. No, it's not a key. Because if I have ACA, then I can replace it with CAC. So I replaced one A with one C. Okay. So we can assume that if we have a C, then there is nothing here. Okay, so we have a lot of C's. And before that we have either nothing, or A, or A squared, or C. So this is what I think. I actually cannot prove it, but it seems like it's true. Okay. Okay, let's try to write it. So what do we have? We have... What do we have?
we have a string ah we need to do it pairwise okay whatever so it will be vvp it will be a const vector string This will be a vector string, so here we read a lot of strings. Now we read find the answer and we print it. So we print n lines of n symbols. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So here we need to make a cool representation. A representation, a representation will be just a pair of intent. So we have we will have API representations of size n so ri equals representation of s And then we simply do it pairwise. So ans i equals ans i equals what? Equals is it true that ah? And return now. And I J. Okay, let's write the function reaper. So VB. No, not VB. PI reaper of const string S. So let's go through all symbols. from last one to the first one so we have a c g and t so a Okay, let, let's write the functions which are feed a 
and feed C. And feed from the left. Okay, so if SI equals A, then we just feed A from the left. Uh, next, if CI equals equals G, if CI equals G, then it is a feed C. So also CI SI can be C. Then it means that we firstly feed. G and then fit A. Yeah, because we fit from the left. So we fit C and then we fit A. And else we fit them in the other order. So A and C. Then we return ants. Finally, we need to write these two functions, which shouldn't be hard. Okay, so first of all, if x dot curve equals zero, okay, let's just return x in the end. So x will be the pair which we return. So if x dot first, let's also define x and y. So if x dot first is zero, then we simply uh, add one to the second one. And else, let's also call this pair p because I don't like it when I have x dot x. Okay. What else can we have? So here it's even easier because if p dot x is zero, then plus plus the text or even if it is at most one yeah when we increment p to text also if we have two a's and then now we have three a's and three a's is minus three c's so if p to text equals two then we can say that p dot x equals zero and p dot y minus equals three. Finally, if we have c a in the beginning, then it can be replaced with c a c. So else we just increment p dot y. Nice. Now we have here several cases. So first of all, if we had a C's and we add a C. Then it's simply tra tra traversed from one to three, and that's it. So we have two more cases. First of all, it's A A C to N, and we added a C. What does it mean? So we know that CAA is AC to the minus 1. So CAA is AC to the minus 1. So it is So if we have P dot X equals 2, then it becomes that P dot X is 1, but now minus minus P dot Y. Finally, so we have C A C A C to the power n, and we added one more C. So what do we know about C C A? We know that ah, we don't know anything about C C. However, we know that.
I think we can get it from this one. So C, C. We know that this is C. So C, C, A is A to the power minus 1 times C. But I don't like it. So we will have to multiply it by a cubed c cubed. So now what? So it's like a squared c to the fourth power and it is c c a. Is it true? So let's simplify it a bit again. So I want to prove this equality. I multiply it from the left side by A. So I get A cubed C4 equals A C C A. And these both are just C. This is because we know it and this is because of the relation. Yeah. So C C A is A squared C to the fourth power. So C squared a squared and c to the fourth power. Okay, I think that's it. The problem is we don't have any sample, which is miserable. Okay, but let's make some 10 strings of something. A, G, a G J A G G G J I don't know A G J J A G J A G A G A G. Let's look at this. So we have the main diagonal, and also we have that the first equals eighth one. Well, maybe we can try and submit it. So again, we have, first of all, we have n, and then we have, ah, the strings are long. Okay, it's fine that they are long. Wrong answer, test one. Wrong answer, test two. Okay. Okay, it's funny. It might mean that we have a relation which we didn't notice. So again, we need to prove that A, that C N is not A C N. C N is not a squared cn and finally we need to know that cn is not equal to cacn so is it true that c for example like something like this is it true that it is never the case Well, 
I don't know what to do. Okay, maybe just some some of these relations are wrong. Let's first of all recheck them. That I wrote them correctly. Okay, first of all. Cn times A equals ACN. Definitely. A times ACN is A squared CN. Definitely. A squared ta A times A squared times A A times A squared CN is c to the power of n minus 2 n minus 3 yes yes it's true otherwise plus plus py so c a times c a c n is said to be a C A C to the power n plus one. Yes. Okay. The second part. C times C times C n is simply c to the power n plus 1 c times a c n it is said that it is simply what Ah, it is C A C N. Well, I think it's true. What about this case? It is said that it is A C to the power n minus one. So is it true? Let's try to simplify it. So we have C A squared C equals A. This is definitely correct. Finally, if you have C times C A C N, it is said that it is A squared C to the power N plus 4. Let's again try to simplify it. It says that C C A equals A squared C to the fourth. We multiply it by 8 from the left side. A C C A equals A cubed C4. This is C and this is C. Okay, so this is definitely correct. Now let's look at it, at it in terms of the strings. So again, we definitely know that A is fit ans A, G is fit ans C. And if we have C, then firstly we fit G, then we fit A. And else we fit A and then we fit G. So this means that actually we failed to distinguish between two different strings. Why did we do it? Yeah, why did we do it? It's really unfortunate. 
Okay, I, I know what we can do. We can make a stress as usual. We can make a stress. What can we do? What can we do? Okay. Let's make a stress. So, while true, I do the following. I try to... So we have, no, not, not like this. Let's make an ordered map, an ordered set of things. Yeah, and we have the queue. And now we push an empty string there. Yeah, okay. And now we can say that what we want to try to do is like for like thousand times or, or okay while while not you the temperature we take String S from its front then we go through all its symbols Okay, I can do. Let me think. What can what can I do? Okay, let's say that I have a cubes C cube, for example. And while true, so first of all, if a wrapper of S is not PII of zero and zero, let's print this string. Okay, and now I want to make some changes to it. So let's go, first of all, let's go through all symbols. Ah, also I want to... Okay, so let's go to you. So, if... If ci equal... Ah, let's, let's say that we have a string t.
if ci equals a, then we say that t equals s dot substr starting with zero and count is i plus g a a g and plus s dot substr of i plus one else the same thing but with agg and then if u dot contains t we continue but then u dot insert in the set and push it into the queue also, let's say that we have shh, we have int size equals one and nine, and here if s dot size is less than sc, then we print it, and sc equals s dot size. Okay, and now we insert. Thing T. Okay, that's the first operation. But that's not the only one. Because other than that, I also would like to be able to remove a segment. So for int i equals zero, i is less than s dot size plus plus i. So string T. If s i not if s dot substr starting with i of length four equals a g j then we say that t equals s dot substr of size i plus g and plus s dot substr of what size starting with so this is the ith symbol, so i plus 1, i plus 2, i plus 3, i plus 4th symbol. Uh, else, if this is GAHG, and this. Okay, and if t dot empty, then continue, and uh, then also something like this and let's stress it okay it doesn't find anything let's print it Not much. Actually, not much. Not much. Okay, maybe this means that actually it's not true that if we have two equivalent strings in our terms, then they are equivalent in their terms. So maybe this means that we can find two strings which are not equivalent. So, okay, let's do it. If I turn 
equals okay let's say three five million and then break and let's go through all small strings So we take a string, let's construct it. String S of length N filled with A's. Then let's go through all J's from 0 to N. And if I contains J's bit, then we say that SJ equals G. Now if Reaper S equals zero zero, but S does not contain not S, but U does not contain the string. S we print it we print it okay are there short strings or not G G G A A A well G G G A A A why did that happen? What? G, 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 G. So CCC AAA is not reachable. But what prevents us from reaching it? What? I don't understand something. What? What? I can't get a a a g g g from g g g a a a. How is possible? What? So maybe that's because I need to use a minus one always in these situations. So can I really get three A's in a row? Just theoretically. I cannot. <gasps> maybe I cannot. No, of course I can. For example, what? I can easily do it. So here, for example, I have a G, G, I can easily make A, G, 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 A, A, G. This was easy. And then I can make Ah, oh, maybe I cannot 
make two equal letters in the beginning. Not I also can. I can easily make any number of equal letters in the beginning. I can what? I cannot make. And what will prevent me from doing it? Okay, let's just try. So I see that I would like to remove this A. Okay, le let's start with GGG. A, A, A. So I see that I want to remove... To swap it somehow. So I... I create GGG Okay, I think I What? Why don't I have AAAGGG here? What's, what's wrong with you? Ah! Stop! AAACCC is also zero? What? Why AACCC is zero? I can... Why is it always... Is it always just zero? No, it shouldn't be because it shouldn't. Well, you definitely can make A A A G G G. You cannot. What's wrong with you? I started with. Okay, I need to push it, or what? Okay, what strings are there in this set? I don't understand. Okay, let's start with something easier. I don't know. Let's start with A, for example. And it is one zero. And let's end with six. At most six. Why is it so fast? Why is it so fast? Why is it so fast? I don't understand it. Ah, because I don't... Oh my god! I didn't poke back. This is stupid. This is just stupid. It 
G G A A G A G. What? Okay, let, let's make it like this. I think. Six G's is... Is reachable? Six G's is reachable, but how? What? Okay, I can just make always... I can always just... 6 G's is reachable. It's unbelievable. So this group is actually finite. But how could I know? Okay, so now we can say that... P dot Y is... So while p dot y is less than zero, p dot y plus equals six, and while p dot y is at least six, p dot y is mi minus equals six. We can do like this, and now it should work. Yeah. A? Oh my god. Again, very stupid. So now quite big strings, I think. Yeah, so this should be quite long. Okay, maybe we can solve it now. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. So 6 G's is actually... Is also 0. Accepted. Okay, we solved one problem. And we have only 3 more. Okay, this filtering problem is actually uh, like incredibly hard. So, how I see it? So we have let's undo some operations. Yeah. So initially we have everything filled. Yeah. Now for each empty for each pocket, let's move everything in it and. To the right of it, to one square. So now we have something like this. Okay, let's draw this and this. So now we have stone here. Okay, this stone. Where does it go? Okay, I think simply like this, yeah? Yeah, just... Just like this. Correct? Correct. But now we repeat this process. And 
and again everything is moved to the right so in the end it will look like a total mess i think so Okay, how can we solve this problem in off offline? So we have several pockets. Let's take the rightmost one. No, we have not several pockets, we have several queries. Uh, what is the number of the ball located at the cell XI after KI repetitions? Okay. Okay, then I'm. Okay, th th then let's take the leftmost, I think. Okay, so we have several. We have just several stones. We have several pockets. First of all, let's consider this area. So this area doesn't change at all. So we can easily answer all queries here. Now let's consider this area. Not, not actually this area, but but this area. So this area each time moves one position to the left. So actually x each query here moves to one to the right each step. So we can consider all queries here. And if it eventually leaves this area, then then what? Actually, maybe we can do it naively. Yeah, can we do it naively? Let's, let's try. So, again, what do I need? I need... I need the positions of all... Okay, let's just do it in... Naive way. I think it's may, it might be tail, but I don't see how. It lo works in n times square root of this number. Ah. n times square root of this number is not exactly... A, low but two seconds 
well, nothing is impossible. Yeah. No, something something should be impossible. Because it's like n times some logarithm. Yeah, it's also same some logarithm. So we take a query. So if it is first of all, we find two po po two pockets that it's between these two pockets. Then we undo queries until it leaves this area. So we have 10 to the 5 questions. So again, we take one question. We find the maximum AI which is at most this question. So it jumps I to the right each time. Yes. Now we either can answer the question or it leaves this area and jumps to the next one. Pocket. And it can do it 10 to the 5 times, so we wouldn't like it to do it. Five hundred twelve megabytes. <sighs> so if we store, we if we spend a lot of memory, oh my god! What? What are we supposed to do? So it's like a giant bit set. I hope it is not a giant bit set.
Okay. Let's try to do something. Although it... It's strange. Really strange. Actually, it should be long clone, and it should be VL. Ah, VPI even. Okay, so fine dance is VL, it's based on VIA and VPIB and we return VLANs. Okay, this should be removed using LL equals long using VL equals vector LL. Okay. So what do we do here? So for each pocket, we need to find the range of possible pockets where it can jump. So, how do we do it? It is simply VPI VPI uh, VN So, let's go through all numbers Also, we have a zeroth pocket Like minus first pocket Okay, minus first pocket doesn't matter Yeah, it doesn't matter. So let's ask here. So if Okay, so if x is less than a zero, then ans i equals x, and we continue. Otherwise, we will do something. So here, what I need to do, I need to say that v i dot fro dot x is what i need to take a i i need to add no let, let's say long long like lower is a i plus long long of what of i plus one times
just plus i plus one i think yeah i think plus i plus one Then we take vi.x And what we do? Also, I don't think we need n minus. We need the previous one, I think, yeah. So let's say here that if x is at least a dot back, then ans i equals x plus n times k, and also continue. We can even do it while k, I think. Let's do it while k. And we here we break. Simply. Oh, fine. This is excellent. Not particularly much time. So what do we write here? We need to take upper bound of a dot begin a dot end and LW and subtract a dot begin and minus one. Accordingly, this is done for UP. Okay, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so here we need to do. Uh, let's also store our current position so let's say int ps equals upper bound again of or, or again of this i think we need to store int x actually Okay, so this is our current position. This is which pocket we pocket we belong to. No, it is not correct. It is not correct. Oh my god, it is not correct. Hey, yeah, because if I jump out of some segment, I might turn out to be in some verse segment
<sighs> okay, what we really need to do? <clears throat> Well, it's, it, it's sad. It is sad. What we really needed to do is to take all these pockets and you choose this segment. So this segment, then this actually Actually, this segment, yeah, because this segment moved like this. Then, this segment, Okay, this is simply a ice minus ice, I think. So first of all, we need to subtract one, subtract i from a i. Mm -hmm. Then it is kind of same. Okay, so if x is at least a dot back, then I do this, yeah. Otherwise, I need to make a jump. How do I make a jump? Okay, so if x plus ps plus 1 is still at most a ps plus 1 then I need to Well, at most... So, can I just make a jump or not? Ah, okay. I, I really don't need... Uh, don't have to do it here. I then say that x plus equals ps plus 1. Then, what? Not ps plus, plus 1. I need to say that int eaters equals this minus x divided by ps plus 1 and x plus equals eaters times ps plus 1 and and k minus equals eaters uh, so here I can say that it is minimum of k in this Okay, else, and I can say continue actually. So here we are assuming that it is not the case, and I need to jump out of my segment. In this case, I will say that x plus equals ps plus 1 still, and now I need to say that ps is some upper bound minus a dot begin minus one where upper bound is of course among all a's but not among all a's but only among among which a's among vi so i need to add vi dot vps dot x and vps dot y plus one. 
okay this is total mess so it's not correct however maybe it's almost correct ah did I have to do it like this? No. But did I need? So, X and K. Yeah, I needed to firstly X and Y. Yeah. So maybe one zero is what's not correct. Yeah, one zero is what is not correct. What exactly happened? I did not get it. So we have X key. <clears throat> ah. What? I, I, I simply didn't write this and that's it. No, I see this three. For for example, this this two should be five. Okay, I have some strength to make a debug. So it is eighth test. Eighth test is tenth test here. So it should be two one. Two one. Yeah, it's two here. So what is PS? PS should be like three. Ah. Yeah, why is it two? What? Ah. But it is five. What's wrong with you? Okay, yeah, I think I need to write if k equals zero or or or, or else well if k equals zero, yeah, then than this. Okay, now this five. This is five instead of two. But I think I am somewhere near OK, or at least somewhere near tail. So PS is zero. Minus minus K is not written. Okay, let's fix the test again. So zero to five six seven. Okay, this is possible to that it is okay, but I doubt it. This can be even wrong answer. Okay, 
if this is TL. And TL is often fixed with pragmas. Maybe we can remove this plus one and it will be faster. Yeah, maybe we can just remove this plus one and it will be faster. Well, it's also TL just for. Well, it is understandable. Okay, let's see what the editorial recommends. This was Barcelona Bootcamp, Ra or I think I... I skipped it. Arseny Kirillov wrote it, I think. What? Ah. No, Arseny Kirillov did not write, but Demon 1999 wrote it. Ah, Arseny Kirillov wrote it, actually. I, it might be the last round by him. No, one by last. What? No, actually, he wrote a lot of rounds since then. Where is Barcelona bootcamp? Ah, here it is. Plus five. And it was problem G? Well, not exactly the easiest one. Haha! <laughs> yeah. No, if it is 3400, then I guess it's not the best idea to read it. Well, if it were 2400, then maybe. Okay, there are two more problems. Okay, let's... Asia, Yokohama Regional Contest. Ah, uh, forces. Ah, it's twenty twenty three. No, I need 2022. Ah, here it is 2022. No, it, 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 it is here. A yeah, quiz contest, yeah. Oh, uh, well, no idea on the hardness. Well, it's just like some mathematics. Well, I didn't solve it at a lot. Yeah, did I? I looked at it and I understood that I had no 
good idea. Let's finally look at problem D. Homogeneous mixings. Maybe it's an easy problem, actually. It's just not Googleable. Homogeneous mixings is not Googleable. Why I wasn't able to Google it? What's wrong with you? Homogeneous? Also, it was the hardest problem of the contest. Okay. Okay. Maybe it was the hard... Okay, let's look at the problem A, which was the easiest one for me. Let's look at it. Oh, Since it's only in Russian, maybe it's also not Googleable. What's wrong with Google and Pretty Forces? Why didn't it find anything? Whatever. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sleep. So no absolving today. Have a nice day.